Now, before his term ends on January the 20th, Barack Obama wants a few prisoners, as, as few prisoners as possible, still being held at Guantanamo Bay. Since it opened 15 years ago, there's been criticism of the Cuba-based military, where hundreds of people were kept without charge and were often subject to harsh treatment. Mozambique Beg is a British citizen who spent just under two years in Guantanamo Bay between 2003 and 2005. He's been speaking to Al Jazeera about his memories of the time he spent in the camp. I entered Guantanamo, as I remember, in a state of um, being drugged. Being in that state, tied up in that way, was so painful. Um, I pleaded with the guards to put it, give me some kind of sedatives, which they did. So I woke up in a, in a daze, and I remember distinctively the humidity and the heat of Guantanamo. Uh, and then there are flashes. There's not a complete recollection, because I was still sedated. I was stripped naked and hosed down. I remember walking across the gravel of the newly built um, Camp Echo, which is where I was taken to, was, which was maximum security isolation, complete solitary confinement. And then I remember clearly walking into a building, a, a small room in which there was a smaller cage that had been um, put there. Uh, and that was going to become my home for the next two years. It was just me the cage and what was outside the cage was at any given time a guard or two that were watching me continuously. The only way I, I understood or, or knew there were other prisoners there was through the guards. Um, and occasionally, if there was screaming going on, screams of pain, sometimes there would be prisoners who lost their minds and were screaming out of anguish. The cell space was more, no, no more than three, um, the ability to take three steps in either direction. It was eight foot by six foot. And I'd been pacing one of these days and considering and thinking about what had happened to my family, my wife, my children. And I eventually exploded. I started punching and kicking and screaming and shouting and swearing. And one of these psychiatrists sat on the opposite side of my cell and asked me, had I ever considered removing my trousers, threading them with my sheet, tying the noose around my neck, and then attaching that to the corner of the cell and committing suicide? And I thought to myself, nope, not until you put the idea in my mind. And of course, I'd learnt a year later that three people allegedly committed suicide in Guantanamo by the exact same method.